Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, where have I been? <laughs> I've literally been gone and I didn't even mean to. So I just wanted to do this quick video because I feel like I needed to explain more about why I've actually been missing and what's been happening because I know that a lot of you have been following my PKD journey, which is polycystic kidney disease, which I have been diagnosed with. And um, obviously, I haven't really updated loads on it because I, I'm one of them that on this channel. I tried to make it a positive channel. I want it to be motivational. I don't really want to get you know make you all down and all that in the dumps. So I don't really speak about it a lot, but I do know that there is actually people on my channel that either have that themselves or they have other problems and they like to. Hear that, like, you know, I don't know, hear someone else's story to make them feel like they're not alone in things like this and not everything's like, you know, not everything's just roses and whatever they say. Um, Because life can be hard sometimes. So, first of all, the reason I've actually not uploaded in one month, a whole month, by the way, I can't believe I haven't uploaded in a whole month. That's the first time on my channel I think I've ever left it that long. And the real, real reason for that is, well, one, I've not been very well, which I'll explain in a second, but also my daughter, actually, Olivia, little Olivia, just got um, out of hospital. So she was admitted to hospital. She has she had antibiotics and IV and everything. It was really, really bad. They actually don't know what happened um, and why she was so unwell. So it's a bit scary. But, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a scary week and obviously making sure she's okay and the other two are right. And, yeah, it's just been a bit hard. And in, gen in January in particular, everyone was ill. So we've all been ill with different things and all of that. So that's the reason why I haven't uploaded recently, recently. Um, but I didn't mean for it to go on a month. I've actually got a video that I filmed three weeks ago. And it's going to be uploaded on Sunday. It's a cleaning video. I've just never managed to get it to the point of going up live. I don't know why. Well, I do. There's been a lot going on. <laughs> but um, sometimes I need to give myself a bit of a break when it comes to things like that. So yeah, it's a mixture of things, I've been burnt out, there's quite a lot of things, um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly go back to my health update, so October 2023, if you remember around about the time when I got my new sofa and I was doing my front room up, I wasn't feeling very well, um, I didn't know that I was not feeling very well, if this can make any sense, so I didn't feel very well, but I just thought that was just me. Um, I was like really tired, kept getting headaches and all of that, didn't know anything about it, didn't go to a doctor about it or nothing, but I did have a review of my uh, kidney from my kidney consultant, they did a telephone call which I have every year uh, just to check up on me and stuff like that, I actually was meant to go in for an appointment and didn't realise I had an appointment face to face, so therefore they rung me, um, and he just asked me, because I have a blood pressure machine, I check my blood pressure, although prior to this I hadn't checked my blood pressure for a while, let you know about that in a minute, um, and basically, long story short, he told me to do my blood pressure while I was on the phone. I did, and it was like 166 over 100 something. I can't even remember now. It's so long ago. It was a high number. I've never, ever had high blood pressure, by the way, ever in my life. So, yeah, basically, they got me to check it again. He said, can you just check it again? So I done it again. It was basically the same reading. So he then said to me, you need to contact your GP. Um, record your blood pressure every single day until your GP appointment and then he's going to recommend if it's consistently that high for me to go on um, blood pressure medicine which at the time was Ramipril. So I did, I contacted the GP, I took my blood pressure every day, it was very high, I was feeling very unwell with it and like I said it was right at the time when I got my new sofa and stuff so if you remember all that was going on. Then I went to the GP and then they recorded it and it was 170 over 100 and something Again, I can't remember exactly, I just remember the top one being 170. And the consultant had already um, put through my letter, the, the review of the appointment I had on the phone with him to say that he recommends that GP put me on Ramapril. So they did. And then about a week into being on Ramapril, I actually went to Hastings. I don't know if you ever remember me talking on a vlog or anything. I got really ill, I, got, I had like a flu and I lost my voice. I don't know if you remember that. Um, and I actually filmed going to Hastings, but I'll tell you why you've never seen that video in a second. Um, so we went to Hastings for the weekend, and on the so we went on the Friday, and on the Saturday, I took a really funny turn. So I was in the caravan, my friend, my sister's friend's caravan, and we were talking, and then all of a sudden, I just went really dizzy out of nowhere, and I just had to lay on the floor, 
um, I lost all feeling in my left side of my body. Um, yeah, it was very, very scary, I'll be honest with you. We had to get, so my sister called an ambulance. The ambulance weren't getting there quick enough. Uh, so my sister ended up chucking me in the car and got me to the nearest hospital in Hastings. And they thought I had a suspected TIA, which is basically a mini stroke. Um, so they gave me a boost of blood pressure med well, a medicine, I think, that would stop me from like that. But yeah, so when I was in Hastings, they suspected that I had that. They said to me, I was going home, like not the next day, day before, but they said, you need to immediately go home, go to your uh, GP or your hospital. Really long story. I was really feeling not well still. Got home at four, well, got back to the caravan at four o'clock in the morning. Um, still wasn't very right, but I wanted to continue the little holiday for the kids. And I really shouldn't have, <laughs> to be honest. But me being me, I thought we're going the next day and everything. I wasn't feeling great. I was really off balance. I was completely dizzy all the time. I wasn't completely being truthful with Jonathan either. My leg, I think it was my left leg, something like that. I can't remember now. My left leg, um, I was like getting pains in them. And I was like, oh my God, because obviously they thought I had, I could possibly have a blood clot. And I, it, I don't think they had access to machines in that hospital. Don't even ask. Um, so. Although I believe they gave me a CT. My memory, by the way, is shocking at the minute. But I believe they gave me a CT there, but I don't think they had access to the bigger machines. So they told me I need to go home and get that. And I also needed to go to the stroke clinic. Um, they need to, I need to be referred to that because of the TIA, right? So then I went home. Immediately on the way home, I was like, just take me to the hospital. No, I rung the GP at Hastings and they said, you need to go to hospital. So on the way home, it was only an hour away, the caravan. Um, Jonathan just dropped me straight to the hospital and um, well he took me to the hospital dropped the kids off and then took me to the hospital and then when I went in there I had an even worse turn I went really it basically long story short I kept going whoosh like that is that's the only way I could explain it and then I would feel like I'm going whoa it was really bad um and I was sitting there and I remember speaking to him and out of nowhere my speech went and I literally crapped myself because I thought, oh my God, that's me. I'm going into a stroke. So um, they got me into the triage. And then from the triage, they were like ringing the stroke ward and stuff because they quickly realised my blood pressure was really high. And I was my speech was slurred and I was all over the place. And I was actually saying to them, please, somebody help me because I was so scared. So then they got me, put me in a wheelchair, put me straight to the um, ward to be seen. And then I got admitted for four days. Um, on the stroke board, but actually, turns out, so I really wasn't very well at all, but it turns out, um, we're not sure what it actually, so they, they have put it down to actually, because I had a flu, that I could have vestibular neuritis, that's what they put it down to, and it's a funny one, because they put it down as a TIA, but they also put it down as that, so it could have been one or the other, to be honest, um, because it's exact same symptoms, so vestibular neuritis is a neurological problem and it's to do with the inner ear, it's a nerve basically um, that makes you go really dizzy and I was really dizzy the whole time, like nothing changed, really all over, felt drunk, felt terrible and I actually filmed a bit of this in hospital because I'd filmed the caravan holiday but I never put it up because I didn't want to, like I say, it was coming up to Christmas, I didn't want to make anyone feel, I didn't want to put that sort of content on my channel, I don't know, at the time, I wasn't probably ready, I don't know. Um, but so I left it and yeah, I was really sick in there. I went off the ward. I nearly passed out. They had to get me a wheelchair to go back. It was a bit all over the place. They ended up giving me a, a medicine that helps with uh, vertigo because that's what it's like that you have. Um, and that was the day I was being released and luckily it worked because I had to come home to the baby and deal with her. And although Jonathan helped me, obviously, and all of that, still, you know, the, babies, the baby doesn't understand. She's going to want me to pick her up and stuff. So I remember being like, oh my God. But by the time I got home, it made it a little bit easier with the medicine. And then eventually, over time, I had that medicine for about three weeks. Eventually, over time, vertigo went and all of that. So I had all of that going on. Um, but it's funny how I had the high blood pressure at the exact same time. And then I had all that going on. And I did lose my speech and everything. And it's, it's the same symptoms, this vestibular neuritis, basically. It's very disabling. It's um, the same symptoms as a stroke. So it, it, the only reason why they ruled the stroke out was obviously because I had no blood clot. Um, they had me on like these blood clot things, you know, these machines and that to make sure I weren't, and I, and I went on aspirin um, just in case. But they never found a blood clot when they done an MMR, MRR. What am I saying? What is even the word of that? Why is my brain like this today? <laughs> MMR? MRR? 
<laughs> do you know what it is? I'm doing something else, which is MRR, I think. That's why. And don't even ask. It's another thing I'm doing on Instagram that basically master resell. Don't even ask. So I think I'm getting confused because I'm saying that. Um, but MMR, I think it is, isn't it? It is. Let me know in the comments if I'm just being completely thick here. Um, but basically, yeah, long story short, I've not been very well. I took a while to recover from that in general. But guess what? The day I come out of hospital, I think the very next day, or two days later maybe, you see exactly the video that you see is, you know, my when I was decorating the dome, I come out of hospital, I'd been out of hospital two days. <laughs> two days. And, and I was already decorating the dome because I just had so much to do. It was come to Christmas. I didn't want to let anyone down. And uh, I just wanted to get on with Christmas and stuff. But I think I overdid it. I'll be honest with you, but none of you obviously knew that how much I was doing after hospital. And then, yeah, fast forward while I've also just come out of hospital. I went in hospital the other day because I'm also suffering randomly with heart palpitations where my heart comes out of rhythm completely. For about 10 minutes, it beats beats out of rhythm. Oh, it's really scary. Really, really scary. Um, So they're investigating that at the moment as well. So I am on blood pressure medicine and I will probably be on it for the rest of my life now. Um, because of my PKD. Um, so if you don't know, I have polycystic kidney disease, and basically the big one of the big risk factors. So with PKD, you're more likely to get high blood pressure, and having a high blood pressure is more likely to affect my kidneys. Um, and basically that type of thing. So they'll um decrease my kidney function. Talking about kidney function, around about the same time when they were doing all the blood tests and that. My kidney function used to be 90 when I last spoke to you about this a couple of years ago. It's now gone down to 76, which isn't bad. If it's below 60s when they start putting me on medication for it. But it has decreased a little bit. And it's decreased a bit. From my last blood test, it decreased quite a lot. So I'm a bit worried about that. It did make me feel a bit down. But it's still above 60, so it's fine. But obviously, my blood pressure could accelerate that down, which is why they need to control my blood pressure. So yeah, I've just been very um, not well. There's just been loads. I don't know if I've covered it all in here, but there's a roundabout thing of why I've not been on YouTube um, properly and why I've taken the last month off. I just really am burnt out. I'm trying to take it easy on myself. I need to be careful because I need to be alive for my children <laughs> and I just need to be careful. And that's basically it. I just, I've taken my blood pressure medicine every day. There's, like I say, I've still got high blood pressure, so they need to adapt that. I'm on Losartan at the moment, they were, I was on Ramapril, that's what I was going to say, they took me off Ramapril because they thought my funny turn before I went in hospital, when I in Hastings, I'd rung up the hospital saying that I was having these weird sensations down my arms, so I was already having them sensations before Hastings when I took a real funny turn, and uh, they took me off Ramapril in case it's that, but it, by the looks of it, it wasn't, it was whatever I was having going on, so I could have probably stayed on that medicine, so yeah, I'm on blood pressure medicine, they're monitoring me, and hopefully my kidney function doesn't decrease anymore. And hopefully my heart palpitations get better and I'm not um, at risk. Because basically PKD can put you more at risk of stroke, heart attack and all that. They're the concerns that you would have. And high blood pressure also affects your kidneys. So the concerns, all the concerns with PKD isn't initially your kidney function and your uh, kidneys failing. It's the other things that can come with it. So I hope that's cleared up for that. I'm going to leave this video here because I literally just wanted it to be an update. But my next video is going to be a cleaning video, which I did film three weeks ago. So it's definitely in the works. It's not something I'm promising without delivering. And it will be up on Sunday. So I hope you are all very well. Thank you for sticking around if you are still here and haven't unsubscribed for me not uploading. Um, and I'm going to take it easy, but I'm still going to... I love my channel and I want to keep uploading and I'm going to try and be a bit more consistent. I'd like to at least promise you every Sunday for now, cleaning videos and things like that. But maybe I'll put in the odd vlog because I haven't vlogged really for a long time either. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me vlog like day, day in the lives as well um, as the cleaning. I'll always do cleaning, you know me. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.